Welcome to this video series on calibration. In this very first video, we're going to look at the term calibration at, and at some basic techniques. What is a calibration? A calibration is a reliable, reproducible and documented comparison of a device under test. What is a device under test? I've some examples here, devices under test is, in our term, about data logger, could be a data logger which is mounted on a wall with an external sensor. So the device under test really is this sensor sitting out here in the external sensor which could be in a refrigerator or somewhere. Another example is this Libero data logger which is used for cryo containers. The data logger is sitting outside and the sensor, again sitting here, goes inside the cryo container. A third example is this Libero device here, which is used for transportation. It has an internal temperature sensor, and it's going inside boxes and for shipments. So this would be the device under test, would be this entire device. The fourth example is a wireless uh, temperature sensor which is used also to monitor equipment and warehouses. Again, it communicates with a base station and this has an internal sensor. This would be the device under test. So those devices we now want to calibrate and produce a reliable, reproducible and documented comparison to a reference instrument. The reference instrument is a uh, high precision instrument which is traceable to the national standard. In Switzerland, this would be SES, the Swiss Accreditation Service. In the US, NIST, or in Germany, it's DAX, the German Accreditation Service. A calibration is always performed at one or several uh, temperature points. And to perform, the calibration, we need some sort of a device or a machine which is keeping a stable environment. Afterwards, we simply compare the measurement row of the device under test with the measurement row of the reference device. And if the deviation is within the defined tolerance, we can issue a calibration certificate. I've taken a few pictures in our calibration lab with three different techniques, three different devices used to do calibration. On the left hand side you see a calibration bath. As a liquid we use either uh, distillated water or ethanol and we can calibrate devices here from minus 20 to plus 70 degrees. And calibration, calibration baths have, have the uh, huge advantage that you have a lot of space. So you can dip entire devices uh, inside this liquid. The second example is a block calibrator. Block calibrator has the advantage that you can uh, travel with it. So you can go to customer on site. It can calibrate temperatures from minus 200 to plus 400. However, it has the disadvantage that the room for the calibration is very small. So all you can do here is uh, calibrate external sensors. So you cannot dip an entire device inside here, obviously. The third example is the most simple and cheapest way of calibration. It's ice water. Ice water has the physical property that it's always 0 0.00 degrees centigrade. Again here you can dip entire devices because you have a lot of space inside this calibration bath. But now let's take a look where is the calibration happening in those pictures. You see here the device under test is next to this bath. Here again it's sitting here the calibration, the device under test going into the bath and this is the device under test. The reference is in this picture up here, uh, it's by side here and again here is the reference. So this is how a calibration looks like in a lab. 
Now, what do we do with the data as already said? We compare simply the measurement row of the device under test with the measurement row of the reference. And if the deviation is smaller than the tolerance, we issue the calibration certificate. Thanks for watching. Thank <music> you.